Hello everyone, my name is Christian. I'm going to present our work Dory, Discovering Object Relationships for Mobile Localization of a Natural Language Query in a video. This is a collaborative work with Edison, Basura, Hondon, and Steve from the Australian National University and the University, the University of Tokyo and the ASTAR Institute of, in Singapore. Our task consists of we have a long on trim video and a query, for example, person puts the books down and we want to localize that query in the video. We motivate our work by two things. First, we found out that the previous methods are not able to capture the human object and activity relationship, and for that reason, get confused. For example, in this slide, we see that the method is not able to capture the difference between the book and the cell phone, and for that reason, get confused. And the other reason is we want to capture the relationship between the subject and verb unknown in the language domain. For doing so, we propose a special temporal graph that first uh, we extract i3D features from the video as an activity representation. And also we use a, a multi-head attention to get the subject known, verb known, and subject verb uh, relationship and representation of the query. For each of the activity representation, we use a keyframe to extract the object and human features that are then used to uh, feed the human and object node. We use a message passing algorithm to uh, improve the activity representation condition in the language. The activity representation then is um, connected using a temporal graph to get the start and end. We train our network using a spatial loss and a key divergency loss that has been previously proposed by us. Uh, we did uh, our, some evaluation study. The first evaluation study that we do for our uh, method is we want to know how many iteration we have to do for the message, message passing algorithm algorithm and we found that n equal 3 is getting the best performance using n equal 3 then we evaluate the all the components of uh, our method to look how they uh, improve or how they uh, affect the performance of uh, our full model we use a no graph as um, we still use uh, all the spatial features, the object and human features, but we just concatenate it with the activity representation. Then no no type means that we don't have a, a difference within the human and object node, so we create a node that uh, is fit with these two features. Then no human and no object means that the, the, uh, there is no human and there is no object features. For example, each of the components that we use here are uh, improving the performance of our uh, model. We then compare our model with the previous uh, methods. We start with the ucook 2 that we think is a good database to be used as a benchmark for this data set, for, for, from this ta for this task. We evaluate our method with, with previously uh, proposal free method, uh, is getting a, a large improvement compared to them. <clears throat> we also use um, our method to compare uh, with the uh, standard uh, data set, Charlie ST8, ActivityNet, and TACOS, so getting a, a state of the art performance in the three of them. Some qualitative result we can see from a positive result. We see somehow our model is able to capture the mission potato with the human activity and the human relationship, getting a good prediction. And for a negative example, we see that the the, the, the model is able to capture the mix, but somehow it's not able to capture the dressing. And this is because the method, the object detector is not trained for these data sets. In conclusion, the principal motivation for our work is to capture the human-human and human-object relationship with the activity. We propose a spatial graph that they use a three semantically meaningful nodes for visual features and also use a, a three meaningful from the language. We use a language conditional message passing, passing algorithm to send message between this node and get it, uh, obtain a set of the R performance. We hope to see you in our session and thank you for listening to our video.